He managed to live his life sitting on top of all these debts and get on with it and have a laugh and a drink and I think I would crack really. Uh, but because the business is based on this kind of, as I say, this never, never, you don't see what you're selling. You know, it's, it's actually you're buying the right to sell a contract in the future and before that right, before the contract matures, you sell it. So you're never actually dealing in anything really. I couldn't stand it. The, the I mean, I've, I went to a few training pits, and the, the pressure and to be that you have to. It's because the deal, the money's made in a second when market goes one way or the other, and you've got to get in and sell or buy while everyone else is going, um, making their minds up. You've got to get in first. I don't have that. I couldn't be that sharp all day. I'd always be back out, out the back. I'm not fag. It's an extraordinary story for one guy. And what happened as a result of him is um, it's, it's unbelievable. And the bearings people said, well, it just doesn't happen. <coughs> and the interviewer goes, well, it doesn't happen to in business. Like, no, it happens in business, but it doesn't happen to bearings. Well, open your eyes, white boy, the, it happened to bearings, you know. And I love that. I love the anger because he was working class and from Watford. Fantastic. <laughs>